So Awesome McBroom and Catherine both break their silence on that leaked clip and respond to the drama that is ongoing in relation to it. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali, guys. Subscribe to the channel and let's just get straight into this quick fire video. So that leaked clip that took place that was in the beginning that they, well, not really leaked. They forgot to edit it um, out and they put that in and you can see them arguing um, prior. Everybody is like, what is going on? The hashtag Save Catherine was going on. They've spoken out and they have basically saying that, you know, we feel now to this entire situation because we keep seeing stuff like this ongoing on social media but she said the hashtag save Catherine it needs to stop and you know she even thought that she thought it could have been her yelling instead of him when people were talking about it they were like oh wait was it me because I also yell as well stuff happens they feel like it's also over analyzed now I do agree that this clip was definitely over analyzed however I do feel like because of Austin McBroom's past and the stuff that he's allegedly done here and there and how insidiously bad it is people are going to overanalyze anything in relation to him that could be bad or could see him in a negative light because of past issues, because your track record is not clean, therefore people are going to go down that route. I feel like if it was any other family couple that they didn't really would, were doing all of that prior, I don't think it would have been that seriously overanalyzed to the point of a hashtag save Catherine. Austin was saying that, you know, we always get hate, um, we all, he said that we all curse in front of our children, like I'm not the first, I won't be the last, he said, we all basically do it. Now I get it, I feel like this clip was overanalyzed lies I do feel like you know sometimes parents do get angry and they shout and scream in front of their kids this happens whether they're young or old however when you are a public figure a public couple and you're putting it out there it gives off this bad rep and people are going to see you and say oh my god you're this you're a bad parent you're this when low-key you're not you're just part of the norm because a lot of people do this in family households as well even when children are well into their teens early 20 to when they're young parents do swear whatever they get upset they get erratic or they just you know there's just frustration this stuff we see in households it happens normally it happens in your household it's happened in my household stuff like this happens so i, I get his point of, of being frustrated because it was over analyzed and it just kind of happens he says but i do feel like austin's past does most definitely play a part in why this is over analyzed um, it was just poor editing on their behalf and hopefully that won't happen again for them. When Cole Carrigan, I believe his name is, or Cole Harrigan, I don't know, brought out everything in relation to Austin ages ago, they never really responded to that. They never really gave that any ammunition. So I also find it very interesting that they're responding to this, but they're very quiet when it came to past issues. Very interesting indeed. But what are your thoughts, guys? Quick three minute video. They are responding to this and breaking the silence of the matter. I think I was overanalyzed. I understand why it was. But I also feel like it's not that serious and hopefully it will be fine between them. Let me know what your thoughts are, subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.